hey what's going on guys we have this question right here it's asking let a be a true by true matrix such that a inverse is this and b inverse is given c also given and solve the equation x b is equal to c for x so let's see how we can do this so first of all uh, what i had to do is i had to find a formula that can give x so first of all they have given a x b is equal to c so in order uh, first of all so we have this equation the first thing we have to do is uh, we have to isolate this x so i can find the formula to find the x right so to get the x along i had to um, get rid of this a and b so in this case we have to be very, very careful in which way we are like for example uh, to get rid of this a i am going to multiply this one by a inverse times a so this two will cancel and uh, i can get rid of this a so the the main thing is this is not commutative so if you multiplying this from the left side you have to do the same thing in the other uh, other side of the equation for example if i am multiplying a inverse from the left side so i have to exactly multiply from uh, left side because if you do it from right side it's going to be completely different answer and wrong so this is the only, uh, thing we have to be very careful uh, we have to multiply this one also from the left side so it's going to be left from left side is going to be a inverse c and we are not done yet so we, we, we have to get rid of this b too right so to get rid of b i can multiply the b from the right side so if i multiply b from the right side it's going to be inverse right like this so it's going to be in the other side it's going to be the same thing like you have to multiply a inverse from the left side and b inverse from the right side so it's going to be a inverse c b inverse so this is my answer now these two will cancel each other so i can find a formula a x is equal to a inverse c b inverse so this is the first thing we have to do so we have uh, first of all we have information of a inverse is given uh, c is also given the thing we have to find is b inverse so we can simply find it using a uh, gauss jordan pattern or 1 over ad uh, 1 over ad minus bc whatever method you prefer uh, gauss jordan is less complicating and you will make less errors so i prefer gauss doing gauss jordan is going to be 1 0 0 1 so i had to i had to switch this pattern into other side to do this first of all i can First of all, I can flip this one to make this easy. So if I flip it, I will get 1, 1, 0, 1, 3, 1, 1, 0. So to get rid of this 3, I can multiply the first equation by negative 3 and add it to the second equation. So it's going to be 1, 1, my, uh, 0, 1, minus 3, R1, plus R2. So if I do this, this will become 0. Uh, minus 3 times 1 is going to be more minus 3 plus 1 is going to be minus 2 then we will get here 0 plus 1 is going to be 1 minus 3 times 1 is going to be minus 3 plus 0 is going to be minus 3 and then <coughs> we have this one <coughs> 0 1 now i can <coughs> i can simplify it by dividing by minus 2 uh, or just 2 so if i divide this one by 2 i will get 0 minus 1 1 over 2 minus 3 by 2 now i have to get uh, i have to the purpose is to bring this pattern so to to make this one zero the top one zero i can add the second equation with the first equation if i do that i will get so r2 plus r1 <coughs> r2 plus r1 will give me is one zero half minus 3 by 2 plus 1 is going to be 2 by 2 minus 3 by 2 which is going to be minus 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 and this is going to be minus 3 by 2 0 minus 1 now i have to get rid of this negative so i can multiply by negative to get rid of this one so it's going to be 1 0 half minus half and if I multiply this one by negative, it's going to be 0, 1, negative half, positive 3 by 2. So this is my B inverse. So B inverse is equal to 
half minus half minus half 3 by 2 so this is my b inverse now I can find this uh, find this one since all of them are 2 by 2 it's uh, easy to find let's see so it's going to be 1 1 2 4 and c is also given is so minus 1 1 0 1 and we have we have found b inverse already is uh, half minus half minus half times 3 by 2 uh, and 3 by 2 so first of all first row first column if I do first row first column it's going to be 1 by negative 1 is going to be negative 1 2 by 0 is going to be 0 so it's going to be negative 1 right here then first row second column is going to be 1 times 1 is going to be 1 and 2 by 1 is going to be 2 so it's going to be 1 plus 2 is going to be 3 and second row first column is going to be 1 times negative 1 is going to be negative 1 and one, uh, 4 times 0 is going to be uh, 0 this was, therefore this is also going to be negative 1 and the second row second column is going to be 1 times 1 is going to be 1 and 4 times 1 is going to be 4 4 plus 1 is going to be 5 so this is uh, this is my a inverse c now I have to calculate uh, a inverse c times b inverse so b inverse is uh, it's here so I can simply multiply so let's copy this down first half minus half minus half 3 by 2 now if I multiply I will get first row first column so if I multiply first row it's going to be uh, negative half and 3 times the negative half is going to be 1.5 so 1.5 plus negative half is going to be negative 2 then first row second column uh, minus 1 times negative half is going to be positive half for so 3 times 3 by 2 is going to be 9 over 2 is going to be 4.5 plus half is going to be 5 then we have second row first column second row minus 1 times half is going to be minus half uh, 5 times negative half is going to be minus 2.5 minus 2.5 plus 0 minus 0.5 is going to be minus 3 and then we have second row second column second row second column it's going to be so wait a minute let's make sure the second row. Um, minus 1 times half is minus half uh, 5 times 5 times minus half is minus 2.5 so minus half plus minus 2.5 minus 3 yes so that's the answer and uh, second row second column minus half 1 times minus half is going to be positive half 5 times 3 is going to be 15 by 2 is 7.5 7.5 plus 5 is going to be 8 0 0.5 is going to be 8 and this is my final answer so let's to make sure let's uh, let's calculate this one more time so a, in, a inverse c first row first column 1 times uh, minus 1 minus 1 ok perfect 2 times 0 that's perfect and first row second column is going to be 1 times 1 2 times 1 is going to be 3 perfect uh, second row 1 minus 1 is perfect and for second row second column is 1 to perfect and we multiply this one is going to be minus half minus half uh, times three times so it's going to be minus two perfect and minus one times uh, that's also perfect and second one minus one times half is going to be minus half five times minus half everything is perfect so this is my final answer i hope you guys like this video see you next time